it is about you know connecting with our community whether you're in a just by yourself or you have a couple other people or if you're in a larger community um, it's important to to get to know your neighbors and work with them you can come up with some creative ways like maybe if you have neighbors close by you can do like a little party or like a happy hour from from five to six and kind of invite people for something special like a drink or some food or something like that you know it's community really is key and I think uh, there's power in numbers with this uh, we support businesses all the time we go to restaurants coffee houses all those types of places and they this is the one chance they have to maybe support you so you can approach somebody in a shop that you know say would you mind um, if I left some printed materials for this community event that I'm part of. And that's where being part of a community event is very helpful because you're not just, you know, touting yourself. You're talking about the bigger art community at large. And I, I think that's very, a very important thing. Social media is a very good uh, way of advertising. Uh, the uh, open, your open studios event i have gotten many people come to my studio as a result of just posting something on open studios um or and or just posting uh, uh artwork uh, which i do generally every day if i can um i'll get feedback and sometimes people want to know well where can i find you in terms of when are you showing and so that that starts a conversation and you can just take it from there when somebody goes to your instagram they know exactly who you are very simple for them to see who you are what you're about where they can learn more or where they can contact you covering all the very basics feels uh feels helpful for me if i'm looking at artist pages you know you don't want to have to do too much digging as fun as a mystery is sometimes, you know, like why make it hard for people? Let your personality shine. So, you know, you can think about your Instagram and Facebook as some sort of visual diary. You don't have to share everything, but you know, you can share about yourself, right? Like it's, it's, it's a avatar for lack of a better word for you and your artwork and your, you know, your business essentially. So um, you want to make it shine and you want your authentic self to come through she has some pictures of herself in the studio she has some work hung on the wall she has some work in what looks like a lobby um some detail shots you know it, it's really interesting and engaging it's like okay this person's doing a lot of different things you can get a sense of the scale of the work. You'll see very high quality images, um, very easy to understand, super visual, you know, bright. Obviously not everybody's work looks like this, but you know, clarity I think is key. When you go, you, you get what this person is about. These platforms are based on content and they're based on interaction, right? So the more engagement a post gets, the more the alg algorithm is going to favor it. But some easy ways to increase interaction and engagement around your posts and your feed are, you know, post often, um, give carousels or reels a try, tag whenever you can. Think of it as a web, right? Like there's you, and then if you're able to make all these connections, they're connected to all these other people too, right? So it's just more connections, more content, and more interaction, which is going to continue to feed the post and your um, profile. An email is better than no email. So if you're going to use um, an email marketing platform like MailChimp or Constant Contact, I know Jan mentioned MailChimp, like that's great by all means you know it's it helps you be organized it helps you make um fun graphics for your emails it's going to look more like this kind of like a newsletter but if you don't have that and you don't want that you can also just send a regular email through your email provider like gmail and both are fine people are always interested in knowing what's going on especially if they fall well if they follow you they want to know when are you going to be showing next 